Well, Johnson & Johnson says in its worldwide trial, its vaccine was 66% effective against the coronavirus, and it's ready to ask the FDA for emergency use approval. If it's approved, we'd have three vaccines in distribution in the U.S., and here's how they compare. The Pfizer vaccine was 95% effective in trials. The Moderna vaccine, 94%. Both require two shots weeks apart. Johnson & Johnson's shot may be less effective for complete protection, but you only need one dose. And when you take a closer look at the trial results, it was 85% effective in preventing severe illness and 100% effective against hospitalization and death. As WBZ's Bill Shields tells us, that's why researchers today are applauding the news. In the past few weeks, we've been looking at the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines as the light at the end of the tunnel. But soon, there may be a third player. Johnson & Johnson and Beth Israel have produced a new vaccine that protects us against the worst of COVID. This vaccine has shown substantial efficacy against mild disease, but what's most important is its ability to prevent severe disease. And this vaccine has shown 85% protection against severe disease and 100% protection against hospitalization and death. And unlike the others, Johnson & Johnson's vaccine needs only one shot and doesn't require sub-zero refrigeration. But the effectiveness against severe illness has researchers excited. It is very important that uh, if the data bear out that it prevents serious illness, hospitalization, and death, that's a huge, huge advantage, and that's what we're looking for. And ultimately, that's how we're going to help get out of this terrible uh, epidemic that we're in. And with COVID's new variants quickly spreading, Johnson & Johnson's vaccine may be the most effective. It's been proven around the world. We now know that there is substantial efficacy of this vaccine against all disease, but particularly against severe disease, uh, including, these including efficacy against these resistant variants that we've been hearing about. But what happens if you, let's say, get the Moderna vaccine and while you're waiting for the second shot, the Johnson & Johnson becomes available. Can you mix the two vaccines? Well, it hasn't been studied yet, but there appear to be benefits. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.